Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana also known as the Air Frozen. Today we're reading for the water signs, which consists of uh, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpios, okay? If this is your first time joining me, welcome, welcome, welcome. If it's not, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, keep track as when I'm making more videos, all right? If you would like to book a private reading with me or shop in my store, all that information is in the description box below. All right, so let's get into it. What's going on with the water signs? <clears throat> okay, water signs. You feel confused, may feel like you're out of the loop right now. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm laughing is because um when I saw the word confused, is it had all these like question marks that just kind of like popped up. Um, but the background was black, but the question marks were in white. So it's like you are in between a decision you're trying to make a decision or you're not sure in like in which direction that you want to go okay and it's causing some emotional uh exhaustion because of this okay this is what's, what's causing you to be confused it's giving me like mario brothers like <clears throat> is that a good example no it's not a good example um let me see i'm trying to think of another one I guess I could use that. I was gonna say Mario. Um, when you eat the mushroom, he gets bigger, like much stronger, but it's, it's in reverse. It's like so when something comes, attacks you or an enemy or something of that nature. An enemy doesn't have to be a physical person. It could be enemy of the mind. It could be enemy of self talk. You know, I can't do this. This is hard. You know, things of that nature. Um, but something that's blocking you um, from moving forward, from making a decision that you need to make to move forward. Um, so that's what's causing the confusion here. All right, so some of you guys need to establish boundaries with people, okay? You're allowing too many people in your energy space or energetic space, all right? There's a lot of childhood trauma around this, okay? So this tells me this This is around, um, in this instance, I feel like parents are involved in your decision-making for, you know, for whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Um, I also feel like it's between... <clears throat> Okay, so you're stuck in between. You're stuck in the middle between being with the person that you love. So it feels like you just met this person. Let's say within the past six months or so. This is for the newly, uh, newlyweds of the couples or dating, right? Six months or so. Um, everything is going pretty well, right? This is what I'm picking up from you guys. Everything is going pretty well. Um, but I feel like there's starting to be a divide here. And I feel like the reason the divide is starting to come about is because people are finally starting to see. How can I put it? They finally they finally see people treat you the way that you should have always been treated. So it's like a shock to them. That's crazy. <laughs> People are crazy. It, it's a shock to see how your mate treats you. Like, treats you like gold, like royalty, like regal, like everything. And it's a shocker for them to see someone treat you like that. And because you're being treated as the royal, the royalty that you are, they're trying to sabotage you. They're trying to do things to keep you confused to have emotional exhaustion. You have to establish boundaries because you are a sucker for love. You, you, who ain't? We all suckers for love. Shit, I, and I can say water signs or at least Scorpios. <laughs> but when we love, we love real hard. And I, I, and I feel like they're finally starting to see because you love to no fault. And um, sometimes your love gets you in trouble for loving too much or overly loving, which I've never even heard. And I would never even think of something like, how can you overly love someone? But hey, that's the society we live in today. But <clears throat> or 
overly loving and um people are just not used to that they're not used to people being this happy being loved and being glowy and all this stuff they're not used to that so because they're not used to that they're going to make sure <laughs> just the jealousy the hate the envy it consumes people so they want you to feel how they feel so that con that hate envy all that just takes over everything and anything that's around them is going to suck suck them in so you got to establish boundaries you got to establish boundaries <laughs> yeah. yeah dangerous yeah you've been homeless you were homeless your mom or your dad is i'm here parental figure so within the parental figure they were dangerous to you to the mind very 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 emotional manipulative even spiritually manipulative as well too I'm here. Put your hand on the Bible. Don't move. This could be for a select few of you guys or just one person. But you always have to have your hand on the Bible and stay there for like minutes or sometimes hours on end. Yeah, it was like, yeah. But I feel like some of y'all have been homeless. Yeah, y'all been homeless. <clears throat> y'all, some of y'all have major trust issues. Some. Or that's what caused the home. That's what, um, from being homeless, that caused the trust issues because you felt like, of course, you could trust your parents or your parental parental figure or, or guardian, whoever raised you. Um, and it just came too dangerous for the mind, like the way they just kept going on and on and on. If you look at this homeless, right? Even though it's a bad experience, or it don't even have to be a bad experience, but even though it's something that a lot of people normally don't wish for or hope for and it do happen, look at it as a blessing in disguise. Because things could have been much worse. Granted, even though you're homeless, because I've been there. I've been homeless before, so I know exactly how that feels. But looking at homeless in a different point of view and a new perspective, it allows you to see things in many different ways. And now that you're able to see things in many different ways, you can then pick the best option or the best outcome for your solution. That's a part of growing. So some of you guys have been homeless and because of being homeless, you have a lot of trust issues, right? Or had trust issues, they got resonates. Some of you guys are in relationships now, okay? And so for the ones that are in relationships now, and I'm going to do a single readings too. And for the ones that's in relationship now, you've healed yourself enough to where you're able to receive your connection, receive your, your better half, right? It's like you've healed your childhood traumas enough to bring forth this connection. There's people around you that are trying to confuse you, that are trying to emotionally exhaust you, that's trying to bring forth issues, you have to establish boundaries. And it has a lot to do with your family members, especially moms and dads, or grandma, whoever raised, I keep hearing guardian, guardian. They have way too much input on your your life, your love life, and I'm hearing sex life too. Dang, I understand. Like, yeah, they know some things, but dang, you got to tell them everything. I mean, dang, dog, run out, roll, everything. Dang, keep something to yourself. Yeah, he did this and he opened that and he did this. Why Grams got know what happened like that? Yeah, we did it, Grams. It was good. Mm -hmm, yeah, I used a condom. Yeah, you know what I mean? Been with the Rees. They get everything in, in this connection. Why are you allowing them to be in this connection? 
grow within the connection is two it takes two to grow grow with your person don't add any other weeds don't add weeds to your flower to your flower bed that's how most flower beds get destroyed it starts off as a single flower and then you might be lucky you might get two sometimes you might get three depending on it but we're just gonna have to say you get two right and then those two flowers they still could be they could be connected to the root together, right? And they gotta work together to make sure that they're both getting sunlight and they're getting water and they do, you know, all that stuff. And then here comes the rain. The rain starts to come, right? After all that dry up, now you start to see some weeds popping up here and there. New neighbors, your weeds. It's just, just popping up everywhere. It could be neighbors, it could be friends, it could be mother, father, whoever. Now you start to get weeds. Now, when you look up, all around you is weeds. Everybody in your business. Ain't nobody taking the time to pluck them or to create boundaries around the actual connection or the flowers. Because everybody got to see, everybody got to know what's going on. No, you don't. It is okay to create boundaries. It is okay to say no and be okay with saying no. Uh, no, I can't help you. You gotta start thinking of self and self also <clears throat> correlates to your connection as well too because if you're not good your connection not gonna be good the same for them as well too if they're not good the connection not gonna be good so you gotta take care of yourself first so you can take care of the connection but you can't take care of the connection if you're allowing people outside of you or outside lookers or onlookers Watch you. Like, oh, what y'all do today? Oh, we went to the... They ain't got to know that. Keep something to yourself. And it's beautiful. To me, it's beautiful and it's sexy when you can keep certain things out and let them keep... Let them guess. Like, oh, shit, she ain't this, he ain't that. That's okay. That's okay. They can think what they want because that's what they're going to do. Y'all got something for yourself, water sign. Y'all got... The, some of y'all, it depends on where y'all at because the timeline is, is fluid. So it depends on where y'all at, but y'all got to be mindful of letting family members into your business. They don't need to be in it. See? Autonomy, free will, manifestation. And I feel like manifestation could be um, in regards to the things that you're wanting to do within your connection, but you might not be able to. Things might be postponed because... Hey, girl, I'm going to such and such. I'm going to that. Oh, really? And then everything, you know, after you get off the phone, two days later, oh, we can't go because such and such. You know what I mean? Like, keep some things to yourself. This is something that I had to learn the hard way. This is something I had to learn the hard way. So, I completely understand. So, yeah, see, collaboration, meetings, and community. You want to have to have a talk or a conversation with these people. You don't have to, but suggest it. Um... To tell them when they, you know, listen, this is my boundary. You cannot cross this. If you cross this, this is a repercussion to you crossing this, period. You know what I mean? I'm here in Senegal. I'm here in Tibet. I'm here in Nestle's Crunch. Apple Turnover. Sex in the Shower. Opportunities galore is what I heard. Mm, I hear passionate love making. Wow. <laughs> Damn. I hear passionate lover. Passionate lover. Passionate making. Passionate lover. Manifesting multi-dimensional perception. Attunement.
Romance, soulmates, empathy. Yeah. So yeah, you got to work on this. Work on the boundaries. Don't mess up your connection for nobody. People going to be mad because people are just going to be mad and ain't nothing that you can do about it. You got to make sure that you're happy for you. Happy for your connection. You don't want anyone to get in between that. You got to guard that. You got to guard that. Because people just envy you for you just being you. <laughs> people envy you for you just being you. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. You got to protect your connection. Yeah, you gotta, you, you have to protect your connection. There's a twin flame from the past, but it's in reverse. So karmic twin flame might be doing some things. Yeah, ex boyfriend, ex husband, doing some things. So be mindful of this person, okay? They're really trying everything possible to break up this connection. <laughs> it's not going to happen, though. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Damn, look, love again. See, I hate love right here. And love right here. There's a lot of love. Y'all have a lot of love for each other. Oh, wait, and love again. Y'all have a lot of love for each other. A lot of love. Don't allow anyone to mess it up. Because it's going to be people that's going to do it. Pull back, scale back a bit, and just survey. Survey. Don't say nothing. Just survey. <clears throat> You'll receive your answer. You'll receive your answer. But you got to protect your connection. All right, let's see. Where's my zodiac, bro? My zodiac zone. Done with the Pisces. A Scorpio. A Pisces. A Gemini. This is Leo. Capricorn. All right. If that resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to like, subscribe, that notification bell. Until next time, what a sign.